Hello, good evening. Thank you for tuning in to Poem Praise 2. And we're about to move right along in the extraordinary African Americans. Uh, today is James Arm Armistead, Revolutionary War Spy, 1760 to 1832. And it reads, as such. James Armistead was 21 years old when his master, William Armistead of New Kent County, Virginia, gave him permission to serve with the Colonial Army in the Revolutionary War. He was assigned to assist the Marquise de Lafayette a young French general who had volunteered to fight with the Americans. In 1791, Lafayette headed a small ragged army of about 1,200 men in Virginia. His orders were to bring pressure on the two British armies, one led by Lord Charles Cornwallis and the other under the command of Benedict Arnold. The American trader who had joined the British, at the time almost the entire state of Virginia was under British control. Because Lafayette tattered troops were not strong enough to meet the British in a full-scale battle, Lafayette was forced to tag along behind the Redcoats and engage them in small skirmishes. While following the British, Lafayette received orders from George Washington to find out what the enemy was planning for the coming months. He assigned Armistead to go undercover as a spy. Now, Armistead appeared at Benedict Arnold's headquarters shortly afterward and offered his services as a servant and guide. In return, Armistead to be freed with the British won the war. Arnold agreed. Quickly gaining Arnold's trust, Armistead began sending secret reports back to Lafayette detailing British positions. When Arnold was reassigned, Armistead began working for Lord Cordwallis. Now in April, Cornwallis suddenly disappeared with his troops. Armistead was able to provide Americans with his location. Yorktown on the York River near Chesapeake Bay. This was the news Lafayette had been waiting for. He joined forces with Washington's troops, and together they set out to trap the British between the American army on land and the French fleet sailing toward Chesapeake Bay. The plan worked. Cornwallis was surrounded. On October 19, 1781, after 10 days of fighting and negotiating, the British surrendered. The American Revolution ended with the Battle of Yorktown, an American victory due. In part to the valuable intelligence work of Armistead. Now, as a reward for his services, Armistead was freed by the General Assembly of Virginia and later granted a yearly pension of $40 for the rest of his life. Mm. $40? Mm. He changed his last name to Lafayette in recognition of his friend, ship with the former commander. General Lafayette, in turn, became active in efforts to abolish slavery and obtain equal rights for African Americans. All right, I certainly would like to thank you for listening uh, to this part of Poem Praise 2 about James Armistead, the Revolutionary War spy from 1760 to 1832. Um, 
if it be in thy will, I certainly will be speaking with you very soon because I know right now we about to, the next is going to be Elizabeth Freeman from Extraordinary African Americans. And as you see what we got, we got to get it cracking for real to, to actually get through this book. But guess what? We going to get through it for real. Yes, we are. So um, certainly um, stay tuned for the next Extraordinary African American. I did give you, it's going to be Elizabeth Freeman in a minute, y'all. All right, I holla. All right, bye-bye.